Hello, this is John from Fluid, and I want to show you some new features in the app. This is only live to our beta testers, uh, but that's an open beta, so anybody can join. Instructions are in our Discord, discord.fluid.so, and uh, there will be a link in the description, but let's get into the new features. All right, so I want to first show you what we're calling flow typing. So I, I published a sneak peek on YouTube the other day. I think people misunderstood what we were talking about. Flow typing is not reinventing speech-to-text, but it is reinventing how speech-to-text gets activated. So for example, typically uh, you would have to click into a, a window and then there'd be a keyboard with some sort of button that you press, or maybe there'd be a button that appears here. In Fluid, you just pinch and say what you want to be in the text box. And then when you let go, it's right there. And then these, these buttons pop up so you can undo or, or go. So let's say, cool pictures of dogs. I'm going to hit enter, and it takes me there. So this, re this like little user experience or user interface change increases the speed at which you can actually just navigate the web really significantly in VR. We're also trying to rethink how do you actually uh, interact with the web in, in VR. So one thing that we just added to Fluid is this kind of quality of life thing, momentum scroll. So I can just pinch and, and pull down, and then it, it just keeps going until I pinch again. That's, uh, that makes scrolling a lot easier than the way it used to be in Fluid. Another thing we can do is use a uh, assistant that we're calling V because you activate it like that. Um, it makes a little, you make a little V shape with your finger. But uh, yeah, let me just try it out in here. Go to Spotify. Oh, I accidentally grabbed my window. We'll change that. We'll make sure you don't accidentally grab windows soon. Yeah, and it just opens Spotify right here. I can also do go to Facebook. So yeah, you can see here, I'm going to close that before you see all my personal photos. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we also can do things like open a new window. And there you go, it opened a new window. I can also use it to show you another thing that we've added, which is a whole new environment. So let's do that. Disable pass-through. And here we are. This is what we're calling Tranquil Grandeur. Please forgive the lighting bugs over there. Uh, the build I'm in has it right now, but it won't be in your build. Um, but yeah, so this is a new environment that we've hand-built with our artist, Camille. And I'm really excited to show you all uh, what, we, what we have here. So first of all, you might notice like it's pretty big. Uh, it looks beautiful. And there are all these dots everywhere. So I'm going to close these windows. Close window. And uh, yeah, so I close my windows so that you can see the environment here. I'll go ahead and hide the dock. Oh, I've got to hide my keyboard first. And so this is what we're calling Tranquil Grandeur or the Fluid Lodge or uh, a number of other things. And there are these dots around. So I'm on a seat in the couch and I can actually just click to go to different seats in the room. And so you can actually load this in with multiplayer and you'll be able to hang out and talk to people or watch a movie or have a meeting and be able to flow through the space. And so, yeah, let me go to this one and then I'm gonna turn around and go, let me go up here and then up here and right here. So we have a really nice desk here where you can put your windows out over the uh, environment there. You can see the beautiful skybox here and you can actually customize this. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to this seat here. And if, make a new window. If you have a window, oh, I wonder where mine got made. All right, this is still the beta. So yeah, so I have a window here and I'm gonna go ahead and go back up there. So we got some bugs, we'll fix them. So the windows were opening down there, but uh, by the time you try this, it'll be fixed. And okay, so now anytime you go to a spot, you can see your windows actually follow you. So yeah, you'll be able to quickly, you know, you've got a window here and maybe you wanna go and hang out with your friend in the living room. You can just select that spot and go. And then your window will appear next to you in the same spot relatively uh, to where you started it. Um, yeah, let me close this. 
And uh, I want to show you how to change the world around you. So this skybox actually is something that I made uh, using our AI. And you can just click this button right here. Looks like a cloud. That didn't work. I will fix this. Um, I'm going to upload this anyway. Like I could just not upload this, but I kind of want to show you guys what it's like to build in public. So let me just make a new window, open a new window. And I'm going to recenter myself. And let's go to, let me find my keyboard here, slash sky. So that's what that button is supposed to open. But this is actually the sky box that is in this environment. And you can do things like, I'm going to view my dock. Turn the, hide that, move this out of the way. Cool. So you can see here, I have a an empty slot. So there's uh, a skybox in here. It's just kind of the default. Um, and I'm just going to say the view from the top of a hill in a northeastern seaboard forest with a beautiful sunset. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. And so what's actually going on? So we have uh, generation credits. Everybody gets six free generations per day during the beta phase. And uh, we are using generative AI to make the, the whole world that's outside of the windows of this environment. This also works in cabin. And uh, you can access it through fluid skybox or slash sky shortcut. And uh, this little dude is dancing and will make this beautiful environment for us. And uh, we'll just give it a second. And here we go. So this is the skybox that it generated. Uh, let me go and I'll just move that over here so that we can see. Maybe it's, uh, it's easier if we see it from upstairs. So I'm going to put this window down here. And we will doot, doot. Um, yeah, it's really easy to see the the view from from up here. And so yeah, we've got this like beautiful forest around us, the nice sunset. And uh, if I would if I don't like the orientation, like maybe I want to see this world from a different angle, I can actually just click here and change the the rotation. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, with that view looking out over there. Oh man, that's great. Let me uh, let me hop down here and we can see it. Oh yeah. And we've got Easter eggs hidden in here for various people that have been part of our community. Um, yep, I'll let you all find those. And we have some paintings on the wall. Pretty soon these are going to be customizable, uh, and you'll be able to make them make them your own. Um, the the art. We're really proud of it looks great the textures are high quality everything in here was like hand built um so please uh come in and and give it a try take a look and we're really excited for you to try it